Hey vlog, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline and today I am going back to school. So I graduated in May of last year. Now I'm going back to school for Periop 101, which is an operating room class for nurses. And a lot of the other nurses in the class have been nurses for years, but they're new to the operating room. So I'm the only new grad in the class, but still I think it's a great opportunity to learn. Um, I have a preceptor at my facility too. And the class starts today, which is January 11th, and goes to April 6th, I think. And it's just once a week every Tuesday for six hours. And the really nice thing about it is it counts towards my hours at work, so I will get paid for doing the class and I'll learn so much. So I work at the eye surgery center, but this class covers um, every type of surgery. Like they teach us about sterilization for the instruments, they teach us about scrubbing in, sometimes I don't know why we do things and this class explains it, which is really awesome. Um, I can't obviously film the class and a lot of our PowerPoints and such are labeled as confidential. So I can't show you that, but I will tell you one of the resources we use in the class is AORN, which is A-O-R-N, and I'm pretty sure it stands for Association of Operating Room Nurses. I'm kind of excited about it, but since I just got out of school last year and I hated nursing school, a little bit nervous to go back and to go back to the tests and the homework because too much. I'm just on a break for class now, so I got to get back to it. So I'll see you at the next break. So here's my cluttered mess for workplace, but I have to fill out these forms for any of the class time that I do. Then we got these glasses in our welcome packets. They we're supposed to put them on we're doing, when we're doing outside of the box thinking to represent looking through different lenses or someone else's point of view. Oh, we actually got a jacket too that's really nice. Let me show you. Okay, so the jacket we got looks like this. Um, this is the name of the company. The class is called Periop 101, but Periop Nursing. And the brand is... It's in here somewhere. I thought it was by Cherokee. Yeah, like the Cherokee um, scrub brand. So, overall pretty nice. The class today was six hours, and it was a lot of stuff just about introductions and talking about safety in the OR. Okay, so I can kind of show you what it looks like a little. The class is on Zoom and on our own we do modules and that's another thing I'd have to fill out like a time card for to show work the time spent basically on the clock at home let me see so some of my resources that I'm using that I learned I'm using this website once it focuses I'll show you no here it is so it's called identity.com and you can make little notes over here so for the meetings I made just a big list of all the meetings and I could check them off like today's I can check off here it saves a note and then for the homework and due dates I've started it here um, and they showed us she wrote down the thing today telling us um, when everything was due so I gotta add that on in there but basically there's one more class tomorrow for this week and it's supposed to be four hours as opposed to six so kind of quick but it'll just be um, two days this week the rest of the day is just on Tuesdays before tomorrow I got to complete a module that's due by tomorrow then over the weekend we have two more modules and some take-home stuff to do before next Tuesday but again I'm getting paid for the homework and for the class so I feel like it's definitely worth it and I'm learning so much stuff about just operating rooms everywhere and how to be safe in them, learn how all the equipment works, um, proper ways to do the timeouts, and basically just how to become a safe OR nurse in general, which I think is awesome. And I think it'll look really good on my resume just for the future for applying for any sort of operating room jobs. 
So my other big news for work is I started precepting, which is crazy, which I don't feel super qualified to do because there's so much I don't know yet, but it's actually going pretty well. Um, this nurse who I'm precepting, who's super experienced, told me that she thinks, um, she thinks it comes somewhat naturally to me to teach which is awesome and she started telling me that I should consider going back to school um, for a graduate degree in nursing and becoming a nurse educator ex like specifically a nurse educator in the OR which is really something to think about I guess it would be online school for two-ish years then I could work during that time but would really what would be awesome is if I could find a facility that would pay for um, my schooling if that makes sense i know some do but i don't know any specifics about that there's days that it's pretty stressful um the other day i was so i was working a full day of cases then i was precepting so i was trying to slow everything down and explain it then an emergency case got called in and i was the last out so it was my first time doing a call case an emergency case on my own Packy left so it was then my job to be the OR nurse for the patient, then to discharge them, then to shut down the operating rooms, lock up everything. And while I was doing that, I was supposed to educate the other nurse on how to do all of it when it was my first time doing it. So that was stressful, but it really went fine. Um, I don't know, but pre-op and PACU are supposed to be specialties, apparently, and because I haven't been trained in either of those, I don't feel super comfortable doing them, but I think it's very important that I am learning how to do them, so when I go to different facilities and just along my career, at least I have some experience in those areas, and I get a more well-rounded view of how everything works, so that part's good. Um... But yeah, I will show you a little bit later when I'm doing some of the homework. Alright, I'll update you. Good morning vlog. Today is the second day of my periop class and I'm about halfway through the day. It's 12 o'clock now. We just have a few more hours and then I'll have all the modules and stuff to do by myself over this weekend. Honestly, the more I learn, the more I'm learning that I don't know so much. Like the world of the operating room isn't even touched on in school and holy cow. There's so many safety issues and safety reasons for equipment and we are barely skimming the surface um, at the eye surgery center because there's so much more equipment and precautions and stuff that go into general surgery centers. It is crazy but I'm learning so much and it's cool because they say whatever I learn I should take back to my center and educate them which I know that's not always looked upon as um a super good thing when you're new like you shouldn't come back and tell them all this stuff that you think you know better because obviously you don't but if it's a safety thing I think it'd be fine to share it you know but yeah oh my goodness just learning so 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 much and it's interesting to me because I'm in it and it's real life and I'm learning on the job but now I'm getting to sit back and see why we do what we do and the reasoning behind everything, which is, that's how my brain works. If I can understand the reasoning behind what I'm doing, I get it so much faster. And that's what I'm trying to um, relay to the nurse that I'm precepting right now. Everything I'm explaining to her, I'm trying to give her the reason behind why. Because I just, I don't know. 
I don't know if anyone's brain doesn't work that way, but I feel like it makes so much more sense. Anyway, last night I did one of the modules and took my post test, and that's one of three due this weekend. Then we've got um, some take home assignments and such. Today is Wednesday, so Thursday and Friday I'll go in for a full day of regular work. And this week is so hectic. There's so many cases, oh my gosh. I don't even know why. I just think all the doctors are back from all the holidays and traveling and stuff. And we are just slammed with cases. So it is stressful. And Friday um, is the day that our... Um, I just blanked. It's the day that our plastics doctor is working. And he's got an enucleation, which is where they take an eye out. Um, a DCR, which is where there's a blocked um, tear duct, and it goes up through the nose, and um, an endobrow, which is the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's where he makes incisions on top of the scalp, and then except goes down and separates the muscle from the skull, pulls it all up, removes some fat, staples it shut. It is crazy, and... Yeah, they're short staff for Friday, so they're seeing if I can come in. But there's so much stuff that isn't normal for us to do that it's kind of stressful. So if I do go in, I'll figure it out. If not, heck yeah. Um, but pretty much, yeah, I guess still got another few hours of class left. And if I learn anything extra, I will hop back on and let you know. But thanks for following my word document i'm filling out all my notes here because it's a little easier for me to follow if it's right all in front of me instead of um switching it so if i can have it all on my computer screen instead of going back and forth to my um you know pen and paper oh also um another thing that i learned one of the people in the class is an educator and I think she's a charge nurse too and she said it was a good idea to get a binder and then to fill out <clears throat> preference cards for each of the surgeons in each um, surgeries that they perform. So I think after this class I may run to Staples and see if I can get a binder with a bunch of um, what do you call it like file tabs, file separator or something. So I can put one for each surgeon and then I can separate it all. Because if I'm going to precept after this too, like I know I am right now, but if I continue to do so, I think that would be super, super helpful if I could share that with the people that I'm training. Um, also, it would be really helpful for me to have in the room just to refresh my memory if I need it. So if I go to Staples after, I'm going to show you kind of the basics of what it looks like because... If any of you are in the OR or going into the OR, I think it would be helpful too. So if I do it, I will show you. Alright, so class ended and now I think I'm on my way to... I think Staples because I don't feel like dealing with Walmart you know it's so crowded there so I think I'm gonna go to Staples and try to get a binder um I want to say there's 10 surgeons right now at my place so I gotta make the binder big enough to fit 10 sections but not super huge because there's nowhere for me to keep that with me in the OR and it's got to fit my locker at work too so I'm going to look, then I need to get the little dividers for the binder. So I'm going to take you with me and I'll show you what I find. It'll probably be a separate video with me actually making the whole binder just because I may try to print everything up because it'll look way neater than just my handwriting. I'm not sure, but for 10 surgeons to figure out each procedure that they do and their preferences for all of them. It's going to take a fat minute so I don't think I'll be able to do that today because I got homework too but let's go to Staples and I'll show you what I find there that was annoying why is Staples so expensive like any school supplies oh my gosh so I did not expect it to be 
expensive. It wasn't crazy, but still. Anyways, I did find what I was looking for. So I got a mini binder. That's what it looks like. Um, and it's just got the three clips right there. And it's pretty small. You know, just like a little bit bigger than my head. So I can stuff it in a drawer when I'm working. Or if I have it out on my little table, it won't take up all the space. And to go in there... I got a hundred sheets of this little paper that will fit in there. Like that's the size relative to it. And I found these um, binder separators, but they were expensive. It was like $5 for five tabs. And I was not about to spend $10 for the 10 surgeons, you know? So I got these little tabs. They're all two sided and they're kind of cute. Um, there's 24 of them and basically I'll just put them on the sides of the paper and I'll label them with each doctor and I can even label, um, specific procedures within each doctor. So I think it's going to take me a while to do all this and put it together, but once I finish it, I'll either make like a separate video on it or I'll just update you when it's finished because I work the next two days. But, um, the notes I do have, I'm just keeping on, like, a little mini dollar store notepad. And it's in my locker at work, so I don't have it at home to take some notes from it. So I may have to bring it home tomorrow after work and figure it out. Something like that. But, you know what? I got it. This should last for a while. Um, and honestly, if I stick in the OR, then I'll probably be using something like this forever. Because why not? If I could have like a little cheat code, heck yeah. But it also just helps me to be more prepared for the surgeon and I can even help the surgical techs and, you know, all of that will end up helping the patient and it'll help me to be more prepared and it'll show that I know what I'm doing or at least I'm trying to, so. But that's my haul, not too exciting. Anyways, I think I'm just going to end the video here because I don't really have anything else to show you. I'm just going to do my homework tonight, then go back to work the next two days as per usual. So I'll probably just see you um, when I get into making the binder. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a good day and I will see you next time.